Okay, well, if you've been practicing your chromatic scale, going from first position up to what I call tuning position, where you've got the two harmonics under the fingers. Remember, we focus on the point where the shift is. So really, in this instance, on the D string, we've got the notes E, F, F sharp, and we're thinking about going F sharp to, to G. And what I'd like to do in this lesson is to give you a piece to play that you can uh, use when you're practicing. So it's just a nice way of kind of throwing in a little bit of real music along with uh, a technique or a little study like this and an area of intonation that you're working on. So the piece that we're going to be looking at goes like this. And then it repeats around. So it's a really simple kind of short phrase. Um, but let's look at what the notes are. And don't forget that you've got a backing track to practice this along with once you've got the notes under the fingers. So let's look at what the notes are. It's B, F sharp, G sharp, A. Now you could play those notes. And it would be kind of easier that way. But playing them up, up the string gives you some more opportunities to play higher notes, which we'll see in a second. So B, F sharp, G sharp, A. Then under the first finger, we've got D, D sharp, E. And then this phrase starts back to the beginning. So it's E, G sharp with the second finger. First finger on the note D, C sharp, C, and then B. So just play that round and round for a little bit. The second time it goes through, it sounds like this. So let's have a look what's happening here. Same start, B, F sharp, G sharp, A up to the E, but this time you play G natural to G sharp, and then it's D, G sharp, and E, so. And I've also noticed that I'm playing D sharp to E as hammer on. Last little tip, when I play the, the chord, I'm playing the E string with my third finger. Let's have a look at that. Because my third finger happens to be resting on the E, so I just use that to sound the low note there. It's quite an unusual thing that using the third finger on the right hand. Okay, it repeats itself this first phrase again. Dead easy, just goes up to the E and then slides down. So it plays it four times through. First phrase, second phrase. Ah, and when I go back to the first phrase, I use the open D. And back to the first phrase, and now sliding. First phrase, second phrase, first phrase again, last phrase. So you've got a backing track listed uh, below this video along with the transcription. Go and practice that and just really get comfortable moving up the neck in this middle range. So you haven't reached the neck heel yet. You're in this kind of tuning position. And you've got all these nice harmonics and open strings to help you reference your tuning, but it does take some time to get comfortable there because you don't have the physical marker of the neck heel or of the crook of the neck up in half position. Okay, good luck with your practice and I'll see you in the next video.